Hey gang, I'm Generic Soul, back again in the uh, Shafra House Garage. Today I am starting a very awesome project. I had a couple ideas in the works as far as this project goes. I was going to make one out of birch and I was going to just buy one on eBay, but instead I've decided to take this, which is a shotgun cabinet, and I'm going to turn it into none other than a pipe cabinet because shotgun cabinets don't just have to hold shotgun they can hold pretty much anything in my case it will be pipes this will be probably be the last pipe stand I ever buy in my life probably gonna hold in upwards of at least a hundred pipes I'm not sure all I know is it's like a really big box hopefully you guys can see that and we're going to uh, do what we can to uh, make this uh, giant pipe stand so I invite you guys to watch Joe isn't with me today I'm just in the garage and I'm going to uh, tape from a side view as much as I can maybe the unboxing or maybe I'll just have to open it and then stop because it might take two people I'm not really sure in the event that it does take two people well whatever you guys will still see the same amount of video footage so uh, let's get to it shall we This is the uh, latest Tragically Hemp CD called We're the Same. You probably won't be hearing too much of that. A little bit of background noise. for a new razor blade. This one sucks. You know what I haven't done yet? Can't do a pipe cabinet while you're uh, not smoking a pipe. That makes sense. This ought to be good. At least I opened the top. you guys to see an idea as to what it is that I'm doing. Mixed source wood. I think it all comes from trees, but uh, what do I know? This part's kind of a pain in the balls, not going to lie. Just because it's smaller pieces, obviously. Long story short, if I do end up fucking it up, I've got plenty of extra wood to uh, 
build this. Basically what happened is I went to the Home Depot and I spent about a hundred bucks on materials such as stain and wood. And most of it was the wood. And on my way home, I ended up stopping at the Legion and I won myself a hundred dollars, so all this was free pretty much. Right, Wonder Bra Box Bras, now just $19.99. Yeah, you heard it. Bra sale in Canada. Who's going? Maybe I don't want to know the answer to that question. So you guys get the basic idea behind that. I'm assuming. And rather than burn out my battery showing you how to trim wood down, we're going to move on to the next step. Hey gang, generic soul, back again. Doing a little bit more work on the uh, the pipe cabinet that you can see behind me, because I kind of want to get it done so I can start using it this week. Today, I don't know what I'm smoking. This was left over in my Calabrese. I think it's some uh, premium barley or something. I'm not sure. Uh, we got some Gorilla Glue. It's about 50 degrees in here, so it should work. Um, and we're going to uh, do the top boards only, just the ones that's going to hold the stem. We're going to glue those together. It takes about a half hour at a time for those to dry, so I can only do one set at a time just because of that's how many uh, clamps I have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and I'll just show you real quick what it looks like. It's going to sit like that. And it's going to sit here and dry. Today is staining day. I forgot to look and see if this is flammable. Uh, warning. Chemicals. California. Don't drink. Harmful. First aid. Combustible. Ooh. Probably shouldn't be smoking a pipe while I uh, do this then. So I'm going to take my uh, Boswell Boldesian. I'm going to set it right below the camera because combustible is not a friendly word. Uh, I've done pretty much everything else. We've glued all the uh, boards together and we've cut um, holders for the stems and today, as I said, is staining day. I have um, early American we're going to do this to all the boards that you see over here. So at least the inside boards will match. I'm just going to show you what one looks like. I'm not going to take the whole process of all of them because they're all going to pretty much be the same. There's the two colors. That's what we started with. And it's going to change color, obviously, as I do more and more coats. Um, see how it's lighter up here and then obviously darker down near the bottom where I've soaked it. All right, and we are about to finish up the last board right now. There's all the pieces. L uh, drying on the clothesline. There's the stand before. It's about, uh, I'm going to have to say almost five and a half feet tall. There's a space down below where I'm going to make a humidor. Not that I smoke cigars that often, but I can also keep my pipe tobacco in there. Keep that nice and fresh, which is always a plus.